was asking about how do you feel about the the game mm -hmm. if you were competing the whole game in the end we lost but do you feel positive things what's the outcome of uh, uh, the game? well I think we had to win this game that's that we are mad about ourselves because we had a good chance to beating them and we didn't use that but we're trying to not search for some excuses or anything. You know, it's first game, we're playing away, they have fans. It was one and a half years without fans, so it's kind of new. But, uh, well, we watched video, we, we figured it out, everything, and we keep moving forward. We have game on Thursday, game on, the, on Saturday, so we don't have time to think that, oh, well, it's sad that we lost. Bueno, es un partido que, que teníamos que ganar y estamos, en cierta manera, estamos enfadados por ello. Es una, veíamos que era una oportunidad clara y no vamos a poner excusas de que si el público, que si jugábamos fuera, no hay, no hay excusas que buscar y, y nuestro, nuestra meta ahora mismo es mirar para adelante el siguiente partido que es esta semana. Uh, uh, true about this, about the game, is that uh, at the end of the game, you 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 quite recover you your DNA, your DNA uh, in you scoring in the last uh, clutch minutes. Uh, you were feeling, I mean, better, no? Yeah, we fight till the end, so we're doing whatever we need to to compete to win. So it's it's not gonna be easy. It's ACB, so it's gonna be all game stuff. So. We don't look at the time. It's finished when it's finished. And we're working. We're trying to, to do good things for this game, for every game. We don't choose that. Maybe I try to, to say that it, it was the same sensation than, than the last year. Personal level. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, what I said about your, your DNA, DNA oh. scoring the last min uh, minutes of the oh, game. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I just, if there's an opportunity, if uh, team helps, I score. If uh, if I can help team to score, they score. It's nothing about that. I don't think about it. Simplemente fue un, un, un tema de oportunidad. Eh, me tocó a mí. En otros momentos serán otros los que aporten y, y aprovechen esas oportunidades. En este caso, eh, no hay tiempo para descanso. Eh, en dos días el partido con Zaragoza. ¿Jugasteis en pretemporada? Eh, la pretemporada no es liga. No sé si podéis sacar alguna conclusión respecto al rival. Uh, there's no rest in between games. Uh, so next game is que Zaragoza. Uh, uh, a team which you played already in preseason, we know that preseason doesn't count as, as an official like game, it's not a normal game, but do you have any uh, conclusions about how, uh, any hints that, about that game that could help us for this game? Uh, I think we saw what we should expect. It's friendly or not, we still, everybody wants to win, so we were competing, so we saw them a little bit, they saw us for sure, but we're gonna play at home. Finally, we have fans, our sixth player, because I didn't saw that uh, yet, but I heard that maybe is crazy good to have fans. So we're gonna, we're gonna work, we're gonna watch videos, we're gonna talk with coaches, we're gonna do whatever it takes to win this game, because it's first game at home, everybody wants to win. Bueno, lo que vimos en pretemporada fue lo, lo que esperábamos. Nosotros les vimos a ellos, ellos nos vieron a nosotros, pero lo cierto es que ahora nosotros jugamos en casa eh, y además con el factor extra de que ahora tenemos al público por fin y eh, todavía no, no he tenido la oportunidad de verles, pero eh, he oído que, que, es, que apoyan muchísimo y son como el sexto jugador, entonces esperamos mucho de ellos, nosotros nos vamos a dedicar a trabajar, a, eh, estamos trabajando en este momento, eh, estamos viendo vídeos, eh, los, los entrenadores nos están dando las instrucciones, eh, eso es. más importante eh, que el que acabó teniendo la temporada pasada sí, pero bueno, si, si espera dar un salto de calidad esta temporada en sus, en sus números individuales. 
on a personal level, uh, are you looking for uh, boosting a little bit your your quality level uh, to your uh, your role in the game and the team to be more important to improve your stats? What are you looking for? Uh, you're always looking to improve, but it all depends <clears throat> on what team needs. It's uh, team sport, so you can't look at uh, only your stats and oh, it's so good that I'm playing good. No, it doesn't matter here. If if you lose games, nobody nobody cares about the stats. So I think everybody is on the same page in this team that we're playing for the victories. And uh, if you play good, it's good. If you play bad but you win, it's still good. You know, it's, the most important is the win. Vale. Eh, sí, hombre, obviamente siempre buscas mejorar, pero bueno, eh, siempre tenemos que primero mirar a las necesidades del equipo. Eh, es el objetivo del equipo lo que, lo que prima por encima de todo. No olvidemos que esto es un deporte de equipo. Y además, si pierdes, eh, nadie va a mirar tus estadísticas. Solo, solo es importante hasta cierto punto eh, cuando aportas en victorias. Uh, we've only seen just one one game uh, in this league for all the teams. We've seen victories of uh, Betis, of Juventud, uh, for example. And th I think that the, the medium part of the of the uh, cl uh, of the team uh, qualifi uh, qualification is is very balanced. What do you, what's your feeling about that? Well, honestly, I think that from the last one till the first one is really good teams and you can't relax a moment because everybody comes to compete to win so every game is really really hard you there's no choosing between teams that oh okay we're playing against this team so we can relax no not in acb not in this year because uh, like you said tenerife first game lost against the new new team so everybody is competing everybody wants to win and uh, I think it's it's really really tough league in this aspect because everybody have good team so there's no like weaker teams like strongly weaker. Bueno, eh, del primero al último, la verdad es que todos son buenos equipos que que quieren y pueden competir y no puedes eh, elegir. Me voy a relajar un poco más en este partido porque todos los equipos te exigen. Y ya hemos visto, como comentabas, eh, por ejemplo, el, el partido del Tenerife con un recién ascendido. Eh, eh, todos, todos queremos ganar y la verdad es que es una liga muy competitiva, muy dura. En ese sentido, tiene eh, ya la experiencia del año pasado, viene un jugador de otras ligas y siempre hay que pasar peajes. Se llama, ¿no? Eh, de tanto Bigot, de más Uris como, como Butro, a pesar de que tienen experiencia, parece que tienen que hacer ese peaje, ¿no? De para conocer un poco la liga, no sé cómo lo crees. Uh, players that just arrived from other leagues to ACB, uh, they need some time of adaptation. Uh, what do you think about that period of adaptation for the players we have in our team, for example? Are they going to be like, you know, like competitive soon? Or I mean, you understand? No? I think uh, our players are high players, high high level players, so they understand it fast. Coach said them, we are talking with them that it's not going to be easy. So they are good players, they're going to understand it quick, for sure. Uh, like we saw first game, nobody is giving us easy points, nobody is giving us uh, nothing easy. So I think that they are smart guys, they're going to understand that and we're going to adjust as quick as possible. Bueno, eh, la verdad, los jugadores que han venido tienen un nivel muy alto y aprenden muy rápido. Son, son unos tíos muy listos, si bien es cierto que, que esto no es fácil y aquí nadie regala nada. Now almost for two, uh, one year here around, okay. And uh, he's asking about your adaptation to uh, the team, 
how have you seen uh, the new players? How do you see uh, the transition from Kuboka to Masiulis? And I don't know. Everything is okay. Arnold had uh, offers in NBA. That's for sure. You have to use it. Gitis is playing in high level, so I don't think that it's gonna be so much different. Uh, he's a good player. He's a young player. He's he's one to learn. It's opportunity for him to play in this league too, so he's gonna do his work for sure. Uh, all new players are good players. I don't know. It's we are, we are working every day from preparation. We are we want to be as hard as we can be, and uh, I think it's it's gonna be okay. Smart guys, good chemistry, good work, and everything is gonna be all right. Bien, todo, todo, todo ha ido bien. Eh, evidentemente, eh, una oferta de la NBA no, no se puede rechazar esa oportunidad. Y, y bueno, lo que Guitas nos aporta es un alto nivel. Es joven, pero sabe muy bien lo que hace y es una oportunidad para él muy importante. Todos los nuevos jugadores que han venido son, son buenos. Tenemos que trabajar para ser tan duros como podamos y, y mejorar, y trabajar. Trabajar. Y en ese sentido, el equipo ha cambiado mucho, poco, nada con respecto al año pasado y la forma de jugar es la misma. ¿O se ha adaptado también un poco a los nuevos jugadores? Uh, he's asking about uh, if the year, the team from last year and this year has changed or not. It has been a different way of working or playing. Uh, it's difficult for me to say because I came just in December. So the team was already in tough situation and we had a lot of injuries, COVID situations and everything. So it was a little bit tough to be here last year, but the guys and everybody was working what we can do. We did. I think honestly, this year, I hope that we're not going to get injured, that there's going to be no cases of COVID and we can work like we planned and everything is going to be better because last year it for sure didn't help those situations with, with all injuries or COVID and uh, new players coming and everything. So I think if this year I'm going to be healthy, it's going to be all right. Bueno, pues es difícil de, de decir. Bueno, yo llegué en diciembre en un momento complicado eh, y además se añadieron otros factores externos como el COVID, como bueno, las lesiones, todo aquello fue duro. Y, y la verdad es que aquel equipo trabajó muy duro. Eh, eh, lo que tenemos que hacer es eh, seguir eh, esperando que nuestra salud se mantenga bien, que mejoren estas situaciones de lesiones y COVID, lo que he dicho, y, y que, que todo lo planeado salga, todo lo que estamos planeando ahora salga adelante. ¿Qué espera del Zaragoza? ¿Cuáles son las la fortalezas o las debilidades del Zaragoza? ¿Qué son las principales características de Zaragoza? Importantes uh, factores as uh, weak points. Mm, I would say that they are running on Fazric really well. That's that we need to stop for sure. We need to get back on defense. Uh, we need to play tough because they're playing tough so we have to we have to answer with the same thing uh, it's a good team it's a, it's a great team like i said all teams in acb are good teams but as we are we are a good team too so we're gonna do our job we're gonna do what the coach is gonna prepare for us we're gonna we're gonna try to do that 100 percent and hope that it's gonna go well go like we expect bueno, bueno, una de las principales características y puntos fuertes es el contraataque y ahí es donde nos tenemos que exigir para, para frenarles. Ellos son un equipo duro, eh, pero nosotros también, ¿vale? Eh, en, en general son un gran equipo, no, eh, pero todos los equipos, como he dicho antes, tienen un, un muy buen nivel. Y nosotros también somos un buen equipo y vamos a trabajar al 100% para, para ganarles. Gracias, Agur.